gang. Cozy girly gang. We're having a cozy stream today. What's up, everybody? Let's look for a cozy gif. I need to go and get my um, my tea. This is a true cozy stream. I got tea tea brewing and everything. Look at all these bumps all over my faces. Oh my goodness. I've got like a triangle of pimples here. Just a minute. I'll let it steep just a minute. Or five. I'd say once live. Pog you live. Pog you live. What's up, Weesh? I've got some delightful tea brewing over here. I gotta let it steep for another five minutes. Look at this dude. Look at this guy. What are you doing? Pronouncing emotes properly. What are you thinking? It's like a real Twitch streamer all of a sudden. Somebody's got to fill the void now that Ludwig's gone. I'm here. I'm here to pick up all those viewers. What kind of tea? I'm having some sweet tangerine tea. Okay. <laughs> no, something tells me. Something tells me that... um. While well, Ludwig audience is more than welcome, I don't know if I'd bring the same content that they're looking for. You know what I'm saying? I'm having some sweet tangerine. Uh, I was I was kind of I was kind of on the fence. I'm feeling a little sleepy, and I've still got a lot left to do today. So I was thinking about maybe maybe some 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 like oolong or something, black tea, English breakfast, something with a little bit of caffeine. And then I decided on this one because this one, not only does it boost your energy, but it's also supposedly a mood booster. And so I was like, well, sure. I'm about to play a game that's supposedly a heart wrencher. So why not have a little mood, a mood boost, a little boo boosh, a mood boosh, if you will. That's my plan. Plus, I feel like I can't just keep having, um, yeah, no longer home. I've never played it. I don't know what this is. No spoilers. Blind playthrough. First playthrough. Actually, they don't have that. They don't have blind playthrough tag anymore. Do you guys know that? That's no longer a tag on Twitch. I, I can understand why. It's somewhat, um, you know, an unfortunate title. Tissues? We'll see if it gets a tear out of me. I am sleepy, so there's a chance. But I somehow made it through before your eyes, so I'm, I'm hoping that I can make it through this one. I'm also very warm. <laughs> I went out and bought a heater last night. I don't know if you guys heard me yesterday on stream, but it's really cold in this warehouse. And I am not a cold person, but um, I am cold now. So I went and bought a heater. I got the heater going over there. I got some warm tea going. I got a nice cozy Chiltendo music in the background. I might just fall asleep. Hey, what is that hoodie, Buish? What is this hoodie? Let's look at it. What is that? What is that right there? Is that a Ludo good? Is that a Ludo good hoodie right there? Good gaming, gaming good. What's up with that? These are now available. Right now, you can go over to our Teespring. I should probably drop a link somewhere in there. I don't. Do we have a? Do we have a? Is it? If, if it would, it'd be merch. Yeah, there you go. Go over to our Creator Spring. It's under the hoodies, and uh, you can get yourself a get yourself a hoodie. Grab yourself a Ludo good. Support your favorite do gooder. Um, do-gooder gaming development studio. Speaking of which, we did release our second episode this week on Sunday. And so far, we do not have near as many people that have played the first episode as played the second. So I'm, I'm hoping that everybody's just got it backlisted and is going to play it. But we're, we're waiting currently on some folks to go and play the second episode. So if you're sleeping on it, don't sleep. It's real good. It's got a great ending. A nice, oh, what a twist. Episode three is almost done. Poor Perispectus. Poor Perispectus. All right. I think my tea is just about steeped. It's been about five minutes. I'm going to give it a good stir. Oh, hello, buddy. We're having a nice sweet tangerine tea. Doing some mood boosting while we play on the Nintendo. 
Oh, hello, buddy. I'm telling you, that guy has changed my life for the better. He's an absolute charmer. I'm gonna go toss my tea bag. Some people leave their tea. Some people leave their tea bag in their tea. Not me. I don't think that's good tea etiquette. I remove the leaves. All right. Cheers, then, buddy. We have ourselves a, ni a nice, delightful cup of sweet tangerine mood booster energy boost tea. That's delicious. The twist at the end. What? Surprise me, and I do not surprise easily. All right, Yakim. Just wait. It's only going to get better. Episode three may or may not have my favorite. Hype train conductor. What does that mean? We definitely do not have enough viewers to have a hype train. What's the, why, do you, why are you a hype train conductor? Are you the one that started the hype train last time? Is that what that means? You guys, I definitely know how Twitch works. I definitely know how it works. Earned the hype train royalty. So Yakim was the one to start it last time. That's that's what I'm picking up. So Buish, you've already played this game. Is that what I'm is that what I'm picking up here? Does that bum you out? Are you still gonna watch? You still gonna be around? I'm sorry that you've already seen it. Seen a playthrough of it. Okay. Well, I might make different decisions than they did. There's definitely a possibility of that happening. I really, I have, I have done as little as I can to do no research. So I have no idea what this game is about. Just like with last week with Chicory. I knew nothing about Chicory. I know nothing about this one now. Um, I am very curious to see, did the, did Halo campaign drop today? Is that what that YouTube video is about? I just added it to my watch list, but I haven't had the chance to watch it. But I know they launched uh, multiplayer early. Did they also launch the game early? Should we watch that real quick? Oh, yes. Game Grumps added a new Danganronpa. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, it's Halo Infinite campaign launch trailer from GameSpot. It's only got 4.4 thousand views, so there's no way. One more week. Okay. Well, typically a launch trailer. Yeah, there it is. December 8th. Typically a launch trailer means that it launches. So they should probably do that. Can you believe you can play Halo on your phone? What a world we live in, my dudes. I might play the Halo campaign, my first ever Halo campaign, I might play on my, my Note 10 in my bed with my Amazon Luna remote control. What do you guys think about that? How does that feel? That's gotta be something else. That has gotta be something else. Well, I was seeing if we had any any late any latecomers today, but it might just be a small crowd today. Small cozy cozy, cozy stream crowd. Maybe folks will hop in a little later on. I know Perspectus normally has a busy Tuesday, and I don't know what H Man's schedule for the week is. Boys, did you see that we're probably going to be playing Minecraft tomorrow? The new Minecraft um, update dropped today, and so I don't see any reason why we shouldn't play that tomorrow. What's up, Zando? How we doing? Happy cozy stream. Happy cozy time. We are here. Zando, I was just rocking the uh, lurk and work meeting. All good for perspectives. I appreciate the lurk. Appreciate the lurk always. Cleaning up lunch after putting kids down for nap time. Sounds like a delightful day. By the way, Zando, we currently have the Echo Glow in our um, in our order list. It's on the way. It'll be here December 1st through the 9th, which I found very strange. Why would it be one of those dates? I guess it's holiday season again, so shipping dates are going to be weird all over again. Thank you for the lurk, Perspectus. Appreciate the heads up. So we have the Echo Glow, which is the hatch light from Amazon. Bezos. This is a hatch glow, but whenever it, um, whenever it wakes your child up, it's Bezos, and he says, Get back to work! That topical humor. 
Bezos would never say such a thing, except for all the time. All right, let's get into it. Let's play some delightful. He's your boss. He ain't my boss, but he is, but he's not. And I'm working hard. So that was the whole story. I don't know if you guys, this is this is neither here nor there, but I did wi finally watch those videos, Buish, um, of, of, of Ludwig's transition to YouTube and the reason that he did it and all that stuff, supposedly, on the podcast and all that jazz. And that was the reason, right, is like hours streamed, which I never realized how those contracts worked. It's like 100 hours a month or something is the deal that they have. And uh, YouTube was willing to back off on that. I only think of Bezos from South Park now. Oh, 100 hours a week? That's not humanly possible. It's not humanly possible. How many days, how many hours would that be a day? So all of the, all of the partner streamers are pulling 100 hours a week. That's insanity. I guess that's true. 100 hours a month wouldn't be that much. 10 to 12 hours a day. Well, now that'd be 70 hours. They bump it into big, long ones. That is crazy. Yeah, no, 100 hours. I'm trying to do math in my head, and I can't right now. Only 168 hours in a week. Okay, Google, what's 100 divided by 7? Okay, Google, what's 100 divided by 7? I don't want to do math. 14 hours a day. 14.2 hours a day. Shalom! The Natsari, how are you doing? We're doing good over here. Is Happy Hanukkah in order? I think we're a couple days past, but the candles, they are still a burn. Day three. Day three of Hanukkah. Woot, woot. Now we're going to for real get into it. I'm sorry that I got into a tangent on Ludwig there for a second. I just thought it was interesting. The whole the whole scheme there, man, is so bizarre. I don't know. That's the reason why we're not a... We are not a Twitch streamer, for those of you that don't know. We stream on Twitch as a form of outreach, but we are not just Twitch. Um, in fact, I would say the bulk of my hours and effort is put into our Discord. I consider us a Discord community... And they're the pastor of the Discord community streams on Twitch. That's what I consider it to be. And then I also post sermons on YouTube. That's what that's how I see the layout of my job, as it were. So tomato tomato. So many candles. I have seven people in my home for the holidays, so we have seven menorahs. Barely enough room for everyone's giant ones. Yeah, if you have seven people in the house, I feel like you have to you have to have a memorandum on like only one person can have a giant menorah and the rest have to have like the little dinky, um, incredibly small menorahs that you would get in like a, a you know, a novelty store. That's gotta be the requirements. Let's pull up this game. Let's pull up this game. I gotta get this thing going. We gotta get the, hang on. I, I just realized why, a part of the reason why our viewership is smaller. I hope the audio all sounds good. Cause I didn't, I forgot to check today. It's also the day which um, Matt Pat starts his big million dollar charity stream. So that begins today. Let's see. Lots of dreidel, which may or may not involve taking shots. Now that is a very interesting take on the dreidel. All right, let's see. Hopefully this thing picks up. Full screen, yes, yes. Did it pop up? Still has not popped up. Hmm. Sometimes, sometimes game capture is incredible, and other times it is not. How about now? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Let's look over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, done it. Done, done it. Oh, you know what? We need to turn off Spoofy. Hang on, Spoofy's got to go. Well, it is delightful. Thank you, Spoofy. Ooh, ominous. That's very loud. Humble Grove. Is this a Humble game? Is that another Humble studio? Feasts, drinks, desserts, gifts, Bible studies, singing. What more could you want? It's like a week-long Sabbath. That's awesome. 
Let's see. Friary Road is a 10-minute prelude to No Longer Home. We suggest playing it, but you can skip. No, I don't want to skip. I'm going to experience this thing as I can. Best enjoyed with headphones. Audio is half of the experience. Okay. No Longer Home is a cinematographical based on the lives of the two main developers, Hannah Lee and Sel Davison. Features many other characters also based on real-life people. These are exaggerated versions of these people. Prelude, Friary Road. Oh, I'm already getting, uh, oh gosh, what was that game we played last year, Vibes? Road Zero, or whatever it was called. Lane Zero, Route Zero. Kentucky Route Zero. Getting hard Kentucky Route Zero vibes. Holy moly. These characters just are Kentucky Route Zero. Is there any connection between these two games? Because holy moly, dude, this is unreal. Okay. Pallets. Very nice. Peaceful. Serene. Cozy, even. Bo! So, last two at the barbecue. Come on, Al. Just say something. It's getting dark. They'll probably have to go home soon. Well, this is it, then. Second year of university is over. Just one more year left, and then we have to be real adults. Ugh, I don't want to be an adult. Same. we got a whole year to figure it out, though. We'll probably have ourselves together by then. Um, have you got any plans? Or I don't think I'll ever have myself together. You got any plans? Uh, I don't know. I think I used to know. I'm hoping I'll figure that out before we graduate. I always got the impression you knew exactly what you were doing. <laughs> what? No. Oh. I just do things. I'd love to have a grand plan, but that's it. I'm just doing things. I don't really know if I'm even doing things. Like, I, I don't know who I am, what I want to be. There are probably things I could do. I just don't know if there's the things I want to do. Oh, relatable. I love that. That's the thing, though. I feel like we're pressured into figuring out exactly what we want to do with our lives, even from really early on. I am celebrating Christmas this year. I'm not celebrating Hanukkah. I feel like one of these characters needs a celebrity impression voice. <laughs> I don't know how long these characters are going to stick around. They feel like prelude characters, since this is a prelude, so maybe they're not that important. But I am having trouble differentiating between them. I'm going to give him... I'm going to say this is Bo. At first I thought she was Bo because I was going A to B, but maybe he's B and she's A. Or maybe neither one of them are she or he. Maybe they're both she's or both... I don't know. I don't know at this point. All right. Bo's going to have a deep voice. It feels like that stuff should be lifelong. You shouldn't have to feel stuck doing this one thing, because that's your thing. That's your thing. It doesn't have to stay your thing. Why, why can't we have multiple things? Oh. Well, I, I mean, my parents did spend a lot of money to get me here. So I do feel like I should try a bit harder. Nice. May the Messiah return swiftly. Absolutely. Yeah, we are actually celebrating Advent as best as we can, trying to honor it. Most people like to skip right to Christmas, but try and remembering that time of preparation and anticipation would be nice. Nothing like crippling debt to get you started in life. Yeah. Student loans sound bad. I guess I'm pretty lucky in that way. Ugh, I don't even really think about that. That's a problem for future Bo. But, like, I think we can end up in a lot of debt to our parents, and that can make it harder for us to set ourselves apart from them. When I think about the things I do, a lot of it feels like compensating for not being what my parents want me to be. Or what I think my parents want me to be. It's a lot of waxing poetic going on here. Um, have you talked to your parents about it? Oh, no? Maybe you should try. Yeah, it's not that easy, though. Yeah, I guess not. It feels hard to be able to be myself. So talking about it is... What's wrong with the person you think they want to be? They want you to be... Oh, nothing. It's just not me. Yeah, that makes sense. Then what is? I'm not sure, but I just... I don't know. I don't think I'm a man. Oh, or I don't think I'm a man. Oh, then what? Well, I'm not sure I feel like a woman either. So, yeah, I, I don't know what. I guess I know what you mean. I don't know if I really feel like a woman, at least not all the time. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Sometimes I feel a certain way, and others, something different. Just realized you guys are in NC. Hey, North Carolina. North Carolina bound, that's right. Now, as far as the community itself, we're all over, but I personally am planted in North Carolina. Western North Carolina Conference of the UMC. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Appreciate the follow. 
Oh, it at least feels good to get that off my chest. I just don't know how to talk about it or, or who to talk about it with. I'm over in Charlotte. I don't know where Denver is. It's not too far from Charlotte. We're right on the other side of Lake Norman. New to the area, and I'll be gone again soon. Oh, man. Well, I like I like the Charlotte area. It's nice. We, we grew or didn't grow up. I grew up in like I grew up in Winston-Salem, and then I moved to up above Greensboro and uh, High Point area, and now I'm down in the Charlotte area. Honestly, it's not something I've thought about before. I think that's probably the case for most people. Looks like the fires died out. There's still embers. The embers aren't warm. Then again, you are wearing shorts. And I was wondering, do you think maybe there could be two people just like us? Talking like we are now? Yeah, somewhere on the other side of the planet. <laughs> I think I mean more than that. Like the other side of the universe. If the universe had sides. I don't know. Never really thought about it. What's up, H-Man? Welcome to the stream. Hmm. You see that star? Uh, yeah. That constellation there kind of looks like... Like a fox! Oh, I guess so. I always thought it looked more like a dog. Well, you see its front paw? What if that star has a planet just like ours? What if there's two people just like us, staring back out at our sun? I think I'd like to meet them. <laughs> Ooh. The people of Galaxy Fox Dog Paw. I'd like to meet them. Just got power back in my office. Oh my goodness, that sounds like quite the morning, h -Man. What would you say to them? I don't know. Can you get me a visa? <laughs> Chortles. <laughs> Chortles. <laughs> so strange to think about the universe being so big. And here's just two of us talking. Back down to Earth. Back down. Oh, never mind. There's two trees, lots of windows. Now we're back down to Earth. Okay. Went to lunch when I got back. The breaker was flipped. That's rough. Okay, and everything's moving out of view. This is so much like Kentucky Route Zero. Blow my mind. All right, everything is twisting. A school? Do you want to stay over? Everyone's moved out now. You could probably use Joe's bed. Yeah, I'll stay. Where are you moving after this? You only got a few weeks left here, right? Yeah, I'm back to Japan for the summer. I'd love to go to Japan. I know it's not long, but I'll sure miss everyone. Yeah, it's a shame we can't hang out some more. You're moving to Camberwell, though, right? Yeah, you're welcome around once you get back. It'll just be a few blocks away from where I was living in Peckham anyway. But I guess we never got talking properly till now. Yeah, only a few times. Oh, I love that! Ooh, who's gonna say it? I want Al to say it. Same. What are we playing today? This is No Longer Home. This is another one of the games from the Games for Impact from the Game Awards. So far, I have no idea what's going on. We have a conversation between Al and Bo. Bo doesn't feel like a man. Now doesn't feel like a woman. I'm having some body dysmorphia. Or perhaps some, some transsexual, intersexual confusion. Something's going on. And now we got these two chairs and the fox dog constellation here. And that's where we're at. This is the prelude to the game. Which they said would take about 10 minutes. I got to make the occasional decision so far. Stargazing. All right, so now we actually get started. Content warning. Should we go over those first? Might be nice. This chapter contains the following potentially sensitive subjects. Mild suicide ideation, depiction of depression, dissociation, and alcohol. Mentions dysphoria and stabbing. Okay. Now you know. My mom called me right after I requested a voice. Did you do one? Not with either of these characters. Maybe I'll do one with some of these, these characters as we meet them. As we meet some new peeps. Hopefully it won't be just a visual novel. I, I, I've heard it was a point-and-click adventure, and that's what I'm hoping for. We'll find out, won't we? No longer home. Oh, yeah, I brought donuts. Heck, yeah, it's basically traditional at this point. Don't know who either of these characters are, so I don't have any voices yet. 
Mean to say, thanks for helping paint the walls. Glad to provide. I feel bad not bringing anything. Thanks for painting the walls. Oh, you look like you needed the help. Besides, it's the least I could do, considering how much I've been staying here. Who are these people? Is this Al and Bo again? Yeah, about that. Uh, I was wondering... Well, my flatmates have noticed. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was getting in the way. No, it's not that. I was... We were wondering what you'd think about maybe moving in. Um, I guess I have been spending a lot of time here. My flatmates were talking about finding a studio so that we could use their small room. The one in the back? Were you thinking we could use it as a workroom? Actually, I was thinking this room could be our workroom. That could be our bedroom. Are we getting hot and heavy with somebody that I don't even know? Can't even see yet? If you or someone you know of needs help, call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline, 1-800-273-TALK-8255. Trained crisis workers are available to talk 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Absolutely. Please get help if you need it, friends. Do good, do no harm, strive to grow. That includes doing good to yourself, doing no harm to yourself, and striving to grow within yourself. It better be. I don't want to carry another stupid pallet. Sorry for making you drag him back. I didn't think it'd be so much trouble. Uh, at least we got to meet that cat on the way. I would love to meet a cat. Ah, the mysterious pub guardian. Yeah, what a cool little dude. So, what's next? I'll order the foam. And I guess we'll stack these in the garden for now. It's good to finally have a spare bed for friends to use. I'm looking forward to having a sofa we can chill on. Uh, we got quite a few Let's Plays to catch up on. Hey, Let's Players! Yeah! Watching the game groups. Yeah, the Wi-Fi's been terrible in the bedroom. I don't know who these people are yet. I'd really like to see their faces. So that I can give them a voice. Hold it still. I am holding it still. Uh, I wish I had my dad's workbench. Sawing over the pallets isn't ideal. Alright, done. What was this shelf for again? We can stick the games on it. We can stick the games on it! Alright! We should get one for my DVDs soon, too. Yeah, I could do that. Bo? Ah, these have been Bo and Al all over again. I should have known. Should have known. Alright, alright. This is Bo- this is Al's voice now. She's got anime protagonist voice, officially. And Bo's got a strong... Gabagool accent. Officially. Assuming that that was Al. Yep, it was. Bo? Fell asleep at your laptop again. Bo needs to be embarrassed. Oh, jeez. How long was I out for? I'm not sure. I was focused on my own work. An hour? Maybe two? Eh. Thought I would have gotten this finished by now. What were you working on? Um, art. I was thinking about art. Now that we've graduated university, I don't have any projects to keep me going. I've been trying to get back to finishing my bestiary, but keep getting distracted. How are you getting on? Eh, I'm not sure I even like any of this art anymore. You probably just need some space from it. I don't know. It's hard to focus knowing we have to move out soon. Everything just feels really flat right now. I don't... It's not just that. What? I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I feel disoriented. I'm not sure I... Why? It's like I've been following this winding path through the forest. And the path disappeared? I guess you could say that. There are so many paths and they're all overlapping. And it isn't clear where they lead at all. At this point, it's impossible to distinguish one path from another. I definitely think you should take a break. You've been sitting here all day, after all. I know. I just don't know what to do with myself. I know you don't feel like going out right now, but maybe stretch your legs a little at the very least. I suppose you're right. Do I get to play the game? Do I get to play the game now? Ooh. This is so Kentucky Route Zero. If you guys haven't played Kentucky Route Zero, go play it. Actually, maybe not. It's a, it's a, it's an interesting game, to say the least. I like how everything's hung on a string. Move your cursor and click to move your character. Can do. As your character approaches certain characters and objects, icons will appear. Clicking these icons will trigger in interactions. Some of these interactions may change the environment, some may not. The function of these actual interactions may seem abstract. Try not to worry about it. Clicking a door or a door icon will take your character to another scene. Do this enough and you should be able to gather a sense of place. Hello. What were you thinking of making prints of, anyway? I'm not sure yet. There's that lion grave or those drawings of plants I did. Uh, imagine the plants would sell well. You don't think it's a big cliche? Maybe. But if, you, if it keeps you occupied and you can make some money in the process, 
Why not? I guess I just hope I'd be making something more impactful after art school. Ugh! Now that's a mood. Don't we all wish we'd have something more impactful after art school? Ugh. How's messy desk has really been stressing me out. I feel bad that it does. I mean, it isn't like it's their fault. Um, I wish I could be better at talking about it. I struggle letting people know when their actions are affecting me. It doesn't feel fair, dictating how Al's love lives their life and uses their space. Um, I should still try to talk to Al about it. It's not like it's just the desk. It does affect the rest of the flat, too, even if it's not as so much. Should I talk to Al about it? Hey! You got a messy disc! I thought you were going to stretch your legs. At least take a break from the studio for a bit. I will. Just collect it myself. Okay. We're not going to talk about it yet. Not going to talk about it yet. That's fine. Out we go. It's an interesting walk, to say the least. Alright. Very interesting. We have a little flower. Oh, that's very nice, isn't it? That's quite nice, isn't it? Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah. Look at this. What is this? It does kind of look like we're across the universe. On the shelf sits boxes of tea and cereal. Jars of dry dirt and sand from hourglasses that ran out of time. Out we go. I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Okay. All right, let me touch that, sure. Shards of unknowable geometry float in the center of the room. Hmm. I don't remember this being here. That would not be my reaction. That would not be my, my reaction to shards of geometry floating in the room. Wait, does Ow know about this? That's your first question? Something about this feels... Okay. No, this is fine. I'm fine. No, I'm fine. This is fine. I'm fine. Everything's good. Goodbye, shards of geometry. Oh, he's floating above my head. You can now press the A or D keys to rotate the environment. Oh. Ooh, I like it that a lot. Okay. A selection of books sits on the shelf. Notices these uh, beasts of the eighth dimension. This book is dated years back. A Korean name is scribbled inside the cover. I was really into this stuff. I've always admired their drawings of beasts. Let's see. What else can I grab? Can I grab that? Can I grab anything else? No? Yeah, we're not. We're just not gonna. Hey, oh, what's up? What's that in the? What's that? What's that you got there? Our flatmate's fruit has been rotting there for weeks. Never gets eaten. I don't know why they even buy it. The waste bothers me a little, but it's mostly the flies that annoy me. I wish they'd at least throw it away once it starts molding. Kitty cat. Do you see the kitty cat? Can I have the kitty cat? Can I be friends with the kitty cat? Can the cat be mine? Can I be friends with the cat? Can I have the cat? Can the cat be in my life? Can I never leave the cat? Can the cat be mine forever? Can I please pet the cat? Please let me cat. Let me pet that cat. I want to. I need the cat in my life. Okay. I can't do it. It's fine. What was that? Trash. I feel like I'm always the one emptying the bin. It's probably not actually the case, though. I should empty it later. I can't tell how Bo actually feels about things. Bo feels like a hard book to read. Cat allergies. Get that thing out of here. Oh, that's Al. Oh, okay. Al looks different. Hey, Bo, guess what? That fruit still hasn't been thrown out. Oh, I am not allergic to cats, and I love them with all of my heart. Um, Don't worry. I'll throw it out before I start cooking. Thanks, I... It's okay. I know you're sick of seeing those flies hanging around. Speaking of food, is everyone still up for the barbecue tomorrow? Liam can't make it, and Anna said she'd be late. Ah, the usual then. Are 
you sure you're still feeling up to it? You seem like you'd use some more rest. Uh, you're not wrong, but it'd be good to see everyone. Actually, I got this game I've been wanting to finish. Maybe we can play that later, too. Got the day planned out, have you? Oh. Uh, Ow, have you seen something odd, like, in the bedroom? Like giant geomet geometrical shape ball thing? Seen what? Uh, oh, that... I, I thought it'd go away eventually if we just ignored it. Is... Is it still there? I, uh, I don't think so. Then I guess it worked itself out. How you doing, though? Feeling any better today? I think getting away from my screen helped a bit. Hey, uh, maybe you should ask you any folks about going to that forest. Epic forest? Uh, I suppose that'd be nice. Love Al and how they solve their problems, right? Epping forest? Uh, I suppose that'd be nice. It's just difficult to motivate myself right now. Hopefully the barbecue will take our minds off things for now. My daughter loves cats. I keep trying to tell my wife we should get one of those hairless cats or hypoallergenic alien head cats. She says they're too freaky. Okay, there's the geometric ball again. Okay. Is it in the TV? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. That turkey? It's a demon. It's a demon. I thought it was a turkey. <laughs> I definitely thought it was a turkey with the arms. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. Okay. I like turkey better than demon head. What happened? Ooh, where's Al? Hey, everything's clean. <gasps> well, looky there. Remember when everything was dirty? Everything's clean now. Ah, so many bottles. Most of them came from my last place. I'm not sure I'll ever actually manage to drink them. Uh, maybe we'll get rid of them at the barbecue. I should try not to overdo it this time, though. I had a massive hangover after the last barbecue. We had a video shoot in the morning that we promised to do as a favor for a friend. I thought for sure I was going to vomit on the car right there. Well, isn't that interesting? Bwish, how did you clip that so quick? <laughs> how did you clip that so quick? All right. Spores have settled in the towel and have been begun growing into fungi. That's what we call a problem. Hackermans? I can't see myself. The mirror shows a reflection. Are we a vampire? Is that a toilet paper tube? No, that's just the tube to the wall. Dude, it looked just like a turkey. I stand by that. That looked just like a turkey. Oh, another door. Another day, another door. The door won't budge. Maybe something on the other side got jammed under the handle. What is happening? Wait, I can go on all these doors? Well, I'm gonna go. Let me go in. H-Man, I have no idea what this game is. I still haven't quite figured it out. We're already 30 minutes in, and I, I honestly haven't gotten gripped quite yet. All right, this is another, another roommate, I suppose. Or is this our room from earlier? Just at a different angle. It's our room from earlier. All my other guitars are broken now, but this one still works. Um, it's been about a year since I've written anything. I think there are vines growing in the electronics. If I, at this point, honestly, that'd be fine. I'd fix them if I could find the time and the soldering iron and secateurs. Secateurs. around. Take one down. Flip it around. Ooh, the music's a little spooky, huh? What's in here? Is this Joe's room? Is this Joe's bed that I was going to go sleep in? The boxes are stuffed full of trinkets collected over the last five years. That's all you got to say? That's all you got to say about that? You sure? You sure that's all you got to say? Anything 
anything else in here that I could uh, investigate? Nope. Okay. Alright, what's this? Why did I stop? Can I only check it out if I can see it? I haven't left the house in a while now. Well, if only for grocery trips. It might be good to get out a bit more often. I haven't gone on a walk with Al for quite some time. Maybe we could go for a walk through the forest with everyone. I don't appreciate both speakers at the end of or at the side of the turntable. <laughs> Why left right when you can just have left right on one end? I'm always meaning to do much more, but somehow the days just end up slipping away one by one. Okay, well, I wanted you to go outside. I want the best for you, Bo. I'm trying to do you right, my friend. What's this, though? I don't think there's anything here that actually belongs to me. Uh, these games look like they're my flatmates. I've not touched my console in ages. I miss our dumb land parties. We never had more than two or three screens, so we'd play team split screen. I always felt a little bad if you ended up with the old VGA. Maybe we should have one more game night before we move. I miss hanging out with friends and eating cheap frozen pizza. This music is so spooky. I still want to know what happened with the turkey. I really want to know what happened with the turkey. I'm still super confused about all that. I want to know where all the trash went. Got a lot of questions. Got a lot of questions. Oh, hello. Oh! Hey, it's my friends. I want to talk to you first. I like your hair. So I want to talk to you. Percy. Hey, Bo, how have you been doing? Keeping busy? Well, I don't know. There's lots to think about right now. It's nice to be out here with everyone without having to worry about assignments for once. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's a huge improvement for having weird tutors. Weird tutors. Didn't I tell you about our dissertation tutor being a total weirdo? I definitely didn't have it as bad as Percy, but uh, basically my dissertation tutor... I, had, I have too many voices! Ah! Okay. Basically my dissertation tutor took a lighthearted joke as a literal threat and forced me to clear things up. He even told me that I wouldn't graduate unless I did. Oh, that guy. I remember hearing he was kind of predatory with some of his students, too. I'm so glad I don't have to deal with that weirdo anymore. Hopefully the rest of academia isn't or is like that. Hopefully the rest of academia is like that. I can't believe how much crap some of us went through. Oh, yeah. You're doing a master's, right? What are you going to study? Printing! Which is what our school was supposed to be famous for, but the facilities were never really available, so I still wonder where all of our tuition went. In the dean's pocket, I'm sure. Or another campus's exquisite new fountains. Printing. I guess they just have a super cool printing printing press. Printing studio. We used to have a big printing place at High Point. I miss those days because you could get printing for cheap. Make one of the voices sound like Dr. Girl from Adventure Bros. That typically helps me. I don't. I've never watched Adventure Bros. I think we were all expecting a bit more. Darn right. I came all the way from the other side of the world. The least they could do is fix the risograph printer. Oh, where are we going? Oh, I see. Alright. I don't know who this is. Hey, Amy. Been getting much downtime since graduation? No. Or, I, I didn't tell you. I haven't actually graduated yet. You didn't? What happened? Oh, well, I had to get an extended deadline on my dissertation because... Reasons. I, I, I don't know. I didn't realize. I, I'm sorry, Amy. It's fine. We don't exactly talk much. Uh, I don't know if you told me. What's your dissertation about? Oh, uh, I'm writing about whether sci-fi came out of the other side of postmodernism. Uh, you sound unsure. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's pretty lame. Nana? I don't know who Nana is. Joe. I don't know. Sounds interesting to me, Amy. He's going to be a California guy. I mean, you probably wouldn't be writing about it if it didn't find it interesting. Sure, I guess. Let's talk about something else.
keeps taking me to the left side of the screen. I don't know why. Why do I have to see so much building over here? Hey, Bo! Sorry Liam couldn't make it. He's busy working. Typical. Typical Liam, earning a living. Capitalist. I'm gonna have to leave early, too. I gotta shift later on. Oh, that's a shame. Um, I'll make sure to stay longer for the next barbecue, though. Actually, I'm not sure we'll be able to do another one of these. We should at least meet up before Al goes back home. When are they headed back? I got a couple of months, don't worry. You haven't got rid of me just yet. What, is, what, are, what are they cooking? Those, uh, some veggie skewers there? Burgers? Okay. Oh, there's burgers coming along, Al. They're getting there. Nice! Getting pretty hungry now. And you wouldn't mind giving me a hand getting a few things? Kebabs. They look like kebabs, but they said burgers. Of course not. I'm feeling a little awkward not doing anything. It's fine. Try to relax. Well, after you help me in the kitchen. Can do. Allow me to go to the kitchen. If I can figure out how to get there. Oh, that's right. What? I did not realize she was dressed like that. Did her hat phase out in the darkness or did the mood change? Cat! Why can't I pet any of these cats? All I want is to pet the cat. Oh, there's no turkey on the screen anymore. Now it's a cartoon of some sort. No, it's the weather. It's the weather. Is it the weather for Japan? What's going on? Oh, hey, Bo. Do you mind bringing out some more food? There's some halloumi on the other side there. Do we, does anybody know what halloumi is? Sure thing, no problem. I can give you a hand if you need any help. Don't worry, I got it. And I'll be cheering you guys on from my train platform. What's happening? I need that cat in my life. Oh, pet. Pet cat. Pet cat. Train? I thought you only lived a bus right away. I got a shift tonight. Won't be living in New Cross for much longer, though. Oh no, these two have the same voice. Going for somewhere a bit more spacious for this next place. Oh, yeah, your flat new cross is pretty tiny. I'm not sure how the two of you fit in that. Somewhere easier to find as well. I don't want to have to go outside to pick pick up you lot every single time. How about you? Kicking it till you leave here, I assume. Uh, our tenancy is our tenancy is ending real soon, so I'll be staying at Bo's parents' house for a bit. I'm gonna miss this place though. I think we did all right with it. It certainly is a big improvement from the close to collapse ceilings you had on Friary Road. I'm a little surprised that the house didn't kill you. Oh, I'm surprised I survived. I feel like I didn't cancer. I feel like I can survive a trip to the Ninth Circle of Hell and back after experiencing that. It is a shame I can't stay though. Even if I had to go to the Tenth Circle, I wouldn't say you'd be missing out on that much. Have you been doing all right with the whole leaving situation? You think you can come back anytime soon? Hopefully. I think I'll have to see how it goes. Who knows? Maybe I'll be super successful and come back with millions to spare. Don't forget me when you're rich and famous. You know, we always were an inch away from success at art markets. If you count making 60 quid tops as success, then sure. Make sure you buy me a house. What you are famous, or when you are famous, or just a smudge bar. I got it. Let's say I'll get you some fast food and we'll leave it at that. Checking time. Oh dear, I meant to leave 20 minutes ago. I didn't realize we'd been talking for this long. I probably better get going. Oh, well. Good luck with your hitman job. Let me know if they're hiring. You never know, Al. The target could always be you. I'll see myself out. Oh boy. Let's look around. What do we got here? The poster is slowly peeling off, revealing the mold it had covered. A lot of mold in this apartment. A lot of, um, decaying walls. I'm gonna miss cooking meals for the both of us. Cooking for someone else just hits different. Feels euphoric when sharing a good meal that you prepared. Back in Japan, I got called a good housewife. What a backhanded compliment. I just enjoy doing it. Why does it have to be gendered? I've upset Bo a couple of times not giving them a chance to cook. Should have just let them do it from time to time. It was selfish of me. I think they wanted to learn a few things here, and I know their parents tease them about it, but every time I'd butt in and take over, I just can't help it. If we get to live together again, I'll make sure I let them cook. We can both take turns being good housewives. All right. Am I going back out or am I going back here to check out? I really want to know the mystery 
I want to know more of what in the world's going on. I guess I'll check all the rooms again. <gasps> Yay, it's the thing! Below the surface of the water are many worlds expanding and then disappearing forever. Empty toilet paper rolls. That is so many empty toilet paper rolls. Friends, please tell me you throw away your empty toilet paper rolls or put them away at least if you're going to use them for craft projects or something because that's just too many toilet paper rolls on the toilet. Too many toilet paper rolls on the Love you guys, I'm gonna lurk so you get the views. This game seems a little too depressing for my mental health. I'm not depressed so far, I'm just I'm just struggling to follow along. You don't save yours as a monument to all the things you've made, I can't say. Are you just harmonizing? I was. That was about it. Oh, water's gone. I would have lost my mind if the toilet paper rolls were gone. Oh, look, she's gonna talk about it. Oh, I keep forgetting to throw the finished toilet rolls in the recycling. Why is it always going to be me to do these things? Um, I guess everyone else probably feels the same way about something. Yeah, I'll just clean these up now. No point leaving it for someone else to do. Yes! Observant! Observation Nation, friends. That's what I call a success. Still want to know why Bo doesn't have a reflection, though. Six whole toilet paper rolls? That's a lot. I'm convinced this room is going to collapse sometime before we move out. The neighbor's staircase is right above it, and they stomp so violently. I don't want to be in there when it finally does fall in. I think we still have some stuff left in there, but I've always been too scared to check. Like, what if it does cave in while I'm in there? I wonder if I could receive compensation from the landlord or the tenants above us. Emoji. Vampire, it's the twist. What a twist. I mean, whatever doesn't kill me doesn't only make me stronger, right? And then if, well... These are. I want to know. If I stub my toe on these paintings again, do they not know how easily people can just bust up their bones from this? What? If, ah, uh, wingdings. Wait. They must have gotten them out from under the stairs. How'd they even manage to get the door unstuck anyway? All right. 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 Back to our room. What's happening in our room? Oh, there were a lot of options there. What can I look at? Painting. An etching is tacked to the wall. In the distance is a dock. In the foreground are four men unloading cargo. At the base of the cardboard box is a circle of molted ginger fur. Written in... <laughs> okay. Okay. That's fine. This is fine. I'm fine. All right, what else do we have to look at? Oh, the cat. <gasps> I can talk to the cat! I can talk to the cat! This is the best part of the game. This game is worth it. Sickly sweet. How are you holding up, Luna? You probably sense the change is coming. I'm choosing to believe the character used wingdings as an exclamation, and the writers didn't use it just to express curse words. That's fine with me, too. It was just so loud. Yeah, that's right. We're moving out, and uh, I'm going to be gone. Like, gone, gone. Ain't that just a shame? Huh? You won't be able to sleep on your favorite white and red blanket anymore. Sleep on my lap whenever I'm working. You're going to miss me so much. But you're going to cry every night. Maybe I should get you a parting gift. How does catnip sound? Or a better toy? Don't worry. I don't need any of your dead mouse gifts in return. Swallowing mice half your size doesn't impress me as much as you think it would. Did she just say a mouse half, half the size? Half? Half the size? If I see a mouse half the size of a cat, I'm running as fast as I can. Half, half of, half of a cat? I'd be very proud of that cat. Bravo, cat. Good job, cat. You did it. You killed a monster. You killed a behemoth. What is this, fallout? That might be acceptable in the cat community, but in the human community, that's called gross. You get me? No matter how much I appreciate the gesture. Well, I'm sure you need your rest. What with all these people we have over? I've kept you up for long enough. I'll let you get back to sleep. No. 
I want to talk to that cat for the rest of the day. Those are called rats. Even even a rat better not be. Ooh, get to scratch it. Oh, I get to scratch a cat. I'm going to scratch a cat. Rolls over and shows her stomach. Ooh, I love a kitty cat. Will it claw me if I keep scratching it? Oh, I don't get to find out. Soft green boy. Ha <laughs> ha. Nickname in high school. Well, that's what people like to call him. I was given him as a high school graduation gift. He looks like a sad little cactus. I like his little legs. <laughs> I love his little legs. I just noticed there's even a little divot. Like, he's got two legs. It's not just one little leg. I brought him to keep me company during the early days of university. Uh, pat him on the head. I think maybe his smile grew a little. Well, he is an inanimate object, so if his smile grew, we have a conversation to be had. About your half-sized, half-cat-sized rats. No. No. Yes. How's your day, stained glass? Welcome to the chat. We're playing a very bizarre game. There are things floating. What is floating in the air? Ooh. Ooh. And now they're gone. Huh, I guess our flatmates are leaving soon then. Feels so odd. I haven't really talked to them in weeks, seen them even. Rats live along the shores of Edgewater Park in Lake Erie and Cleveland, Ohio. have been grown, known to grow to the size of raccoons. I'm done, I'm done with that. Not interested. I'm out. Feels like they're almost vanishing like ghosts. It's happening so fast I can hardly keep up with it. I feel like it's not going to fully hit until after the fact. Shoot, I wonder how Bo feels about it. Did they ever let Lou know they're moving out? There goes his plan to move in, I guess. Yeah, that's a too big rat there, stained glass. Too big. Shelves that were once overwhelmed with the weight of books and cameras are now overwhelmingly bare. Bunch of artists living together, man. Sounds like a dream. Sounds like a tired, tired dream. An up too late working dream. I don't really feel like going outside. I just want to spend more time here. All the time that I have left, at least. Then we shall. We shall do exactly that. We shall spend all of the time here. Oh, have I been in this room? I don't think Al's been in this room. I think just Bo went in here. I'm going to see if that giant floating orb is still in here. Oh, no. What happened? I've never once in my life made my bed before. What's the point if you're the only one who sees it? I don't get it. It's not like someone's going to barge in and arrest me for a messy bed. I'd rather not think about cleaning right now. There's already too much going on in my head. I don't even know what to pack or throw out yet. I don't, I don't even know if I'll be able to pack everything in time. I've moved houses six times in the course of four years. Not once have I managed to schedule myself to finish packing on time. What's going on here? What's up with the rope? Is everything okay? Unmade beds! My mom told me off the state of our told me off in the state of our wash basket when she visited. Well, this room in general, really. Why did we even show her this room when it's probably the most uninteresting place in this flat? We really only use this room to sleep. I haven't thought about it until now. Having a separate workspace has been so luxurious. How did I not realize until just now? It is an extension cord. Oh man, I cannot tell you how like concerned I was about what in the world was going on. But now I understand it's an extension cord. It's an extension cord for the music to come out of the window. Understood. Uni didn't have enough studio space for all of us, uh, so Bo and I just ended up working from home. Been living like kings, haven't we? Uh, I am really happy with how our little home studio turned out. Getting everything together was a faff, but it all felt so worth it. I don't have the mind for DIY. Having Bo hatch a plan really helped. It's a shame that it only lasted for a year. Just a short while before we'll have to take it all apart. I'll look forward to the next studio we can have together. Whatever that'll be. If it'll even happen. Uh, this is all giving me a headache. It is what it is, and I've got more important things to worry about. Stay focused, Al. Stop letting everything weigh you down. Can't help feeling sorry for myself. I'm just glad I finally understand what's going on. Oh, 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 oh. 
I was going to display all my figurines with bows, but kept forgetting about it. There's so much I wanted to do with this room. I hope I get another chance building a home with Bo. I never thought of this room as important, but we did so much talking here. My old bedroom is full of stuff, but it's going to feel so empty. Is there anything over here that I need to see? Mm. No. There's not. Out the door. Um, joins their friends for the rest of the barbecue or takes a moment to recollect. I mean, if I'm being honest with myself, I would probably recollect myself, but I've also just done that. But my introverted self is absolutely going to do that. Okay, it just meant like, are you sure you're ready to change the next scene? Okay. Can do. Oh, there's not near as many of us now. See, there's the speaker that I was talking about. The girl in the hat is absolutely a Danganronpa character. Yep, we're moving out in just under a month now. We should probably start packing soon. Our flatmates are well ahead of us. Aren't you moving out soon too, Joe? Already started. Or no, what was his voice? I can't remember his voice. His voice was a different one. I've been moving stuff back to Finchley, bit by bit. It's been a slow process moving back to my parents' house. Might haul some more stuff tonight. I forgot how much of a pain it is to go to get to, to and from South London. I don't envy you. I'm gonna have to get my dad to help move our stuff. We have so much furniture now. Sweats nervously. I really should have started sending things back to Tokyo, huh? Fortunately, I haven't anything too bulky to take back. I've just been taking things back on the tube. He's British. Fossils underneath us. Anyone else want a drink? Oh, I could go with the top up. Cheers. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. I'm excited for that cross rail finally gets finished. Not that we'll get any connections around here, though. You're the only person I know to get this excited about that kind of stuff. <laughs> He's been going on about it for months. It is exciting, though. Just imagine being able to get to the other side of London that fast. It won't be as impressive as the Shinkansen, sure, but I'm not going to lie. Getting back to the east of London with only one train would be desirable. I guess it'd make picking you up at the airport easier. The journey from Heathrow is hell. Apparently, some of the older buildings above the tunnels have started to sink. They've injected this stuff into the buildings to make them stable again. You know, I heard they're repurposing some of the old underground stations now. I read about that. Aren't they planning on turning them into houses? Yep. I understand they'll be building some shops and bars, too. They're planning on making it some underground metropolis. It all sounds pretty swanky. I don't think I can imagine any of us living in one. I think Kim is the only one of us who isn't moving back to their parents' places at this point anyway. Yeah, Kim's a bit older than the rest of us. There is a dinosaur in the ground. How are we missing that? Hey, oh, you're staying at Bo's house uh, before heading back to Japan, aren't you? Yeah, I wish I didn't have to. I feel bad for loitering around for two weeks. Uh, you know my parents won't mind. Besides, I'm the reason we're moving out anyway. That's not your fault. I'll, I'll make sure I cook and clean plenty. Shoots a look at Bo. Drink? Yeah, drink. Well, uh, it certainly feels like the end of an era. Probably time to start being adults and pay those taxes. Has anyone here ever been taught how to pay taxes? Oh, we had a lecture about it at uni. Hmm, I don't remember that. All good for the lurk there, boys. Thanks for letting me know. It was optional. Oh, well, that explains it then. It was while you were still living at Friary Road, so you wouldn't have had me to drag you along. Are we 
going back to Friary Road. Very artistic, isn't it? Pours herself and bow another drink. Alright, that's enough drinks! That's enough slices, Nana! I wonder if that weird shack in the garden is still there at Friar Road, I mean. <laughs> the love shack? Managed to survive through that strong wind during second year. A whole lot of trees got uprooted around Peckham. I remember there were a few blocking the roads. The wind was ridiculous. The shack seemed pretty sturdy. It's probably still there. Unless, of course, the landlord took it down. Didn't he think you made it? He certainly seemed to think I had, even though it had clearly been put up before he moved in. Thanks for the follow, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Thanks for that, I appreciate it. Certainly seemed to think I had, even though it had clearly been put up before he moved in. I still think it was cheeky advertising that house has a five bed, when one of the rooms was clearly only big enough for bike storage. I remember that room. You'd struggle to get a single bed in there. I still remember the face of my friend when he came and did something. Looked way too fast. All right, Bo. All right, Bo. That's enough slices. No oh, thanks. Haven't finished this. I ended up being the last one to leave that place. Got pretty lonely towards the end. Well, at least we had that barbecue. You were nice enough to keep me company after everyone had gone. Honestly, I was feeling pretty lonely myself. It was nice to stay over, even if we were sleeping in separate rooms. Sorry for making you sleep on Joe's old bed without a blanket. One of you folks left me frozen chicken nuggets to live on for the next few days, so thanks for that, too. Well, those were probably mine. I must have forgotten about them. I still feel kind of bad for leaving so early. The sun woke me up at about six, and I didn't want to disturb you. Come to think of it, I'm not sure I even knew which room was yours. Is that the dog in the background? <gasps> It's gotten pretty dark. Want to head inside? It's gotten cold. I'm gonna catch the death of me. We could build a blanket for it. Play some video games. Sounds good. I'll give you a hand bringing stuff inside. My goodness, this game is blowing my mind. I'm still so confused. I need more tea. I need more tea. I gotta get more hot water. I'll be right back. Be right back. I literally admit I'll be right back. I'm right here. I didn't go too far. I'm afraid I'm going to have to head off now. Back to Finchley tonight. Yeah, long journey on the northern line ahead of me. This was good, though. Hey, I'm back. What's up, Perspectus? Not much has changed. Still very confused as to what's going on. This was good, though. Good to do another one of these. Yeah, it was good. It feels like a play. Feels very much like a stage play. That's very dark. That's very dark. And what's going on? Let's go look in the bushes. Have a barbecue. I just got an achievement. Go achievements. I spent so much time weeding the flower bed when I moved in, I really should have maintained it. Seems like there are even more weeds than before we moved in. All the flowers we planted together, swallowed up by Alconet and Enchanter's Nightshade. Got some tea brewing over there. I know I saw some eyeballs somewhere else. <gasps> Deer. Can't believe the neighbors stole our mob. Just look at it sitting up there. I mean, what kind of freako does that? Like, just go buy your own. There's plenty of pound shops on the main road. And I think I prefer the constant howling of the previous neighbors. Sounds like my tea is done. All right, time to let it brew. This guy is pleasant. I'm, you know, I am so confused, Perspectus. I really am. I'm trying to figure out this game. But so far, I haven't quite gotten to the point of caring.
But if it was nominated for a game award, then I feel like I need to give it a good fighting chance. We played a we played a coming out story last year, and I can't remember the name of it, but it was quite impactful. And this one so far just hasn't hasn't quite done it yet. Oh jeez, I think I better leave cleaning up this mess till tomorrow morning. What is actually going on so far? One sentence elevator pitch. Two people are moving out. Impact equals apathy. That is that is kind of the way that it's gone. And I would agree that uh, accessibility and apathy has certainly been a major part of impact. But I don't know. Life is Strange does it really well. But this one so far, I don't know. It's just kind of been a visual novel. I should at least try to do it before I flat get up. At least we managed to get rid of, uh, yeah, two people are moving out. And they're sad about it. And there are artists who make things, but they don't make the things they want to make. At least we managed to get rid of some of those drinks. Uh, yeah, you certainly did, Bo. You managed to have more than a few there, friendo. Now, there is the mystery of the giant geometric floating thing. I wish the cats didn't make such a mess with their food. I'll miss them both. So they are moving out dramatically. Precisely. Giant floating orb? No. I managed to snag this bed from my last place, as well as a few other things. It was nice of our landlord to just let us have it. It's wild to me at this point in my life where I own all this furniture. I'd like to get a fresh start, figure out who I am from the beginning. But I just can't get rid of all this stuff. How would I replace it? It's not like my parents would be able to dump a load of cash on me. I just can't change how I am or how I live, and they're both informed by each other. Yeah, two people are moving out dramatically. Also, there's the question of the huge geometric floating thing as if they're the same. Well, that's what I want more of. I want more of the giant geometric floating thing, and I, it won't give it to me. Is this game going to morph into unpacking? I wish it was unpacking. Now, that was a good game. How did that game not get nominated for the Game Awards? Did it? No, it didn't, right? You were talking about a game that deserves it. What was that now? That mouse hole was not here earlier. Was it? I think there might be mice slipping between the tiles and the floorboards. Every so often I see Luna or Autumn staring into a crack. We did learn that the... Uh, what is this? Buchanan? That's a good question. This is one of the games for impact from the Game Awards. No longer home. We're about an hour and eight minutes into it, and I couldn't tell you much about it. I'm guessing you got to really invest all your time into this one to get the impact. It's a slow burn, as it were. All right, that light is definitely green. Oh, they're building a blanket. So that's the next scene, then. Let's go look around this room, see if we can find that geometric orb again. Oh, it's the cat! I'm so glad I went in here. Oh, this was so worth it. Hello there. Getting a break from everyone, huh, Autumn? Autumn's a great name for a cat. I needed one, too. I wish I didn't. I want to be around people. I just get so tired. You always seem like you wanted to be around people, just not too close, eh? I can understand that. Though you never want to hang out with me, do you? I don't know why I get so upset about it. I, I just want to be liked. Not long left. You could try to be friends. This is stupid. I should be having fun with my friends. But I don't know how to do that, so here I am talking to you. Well, see you, Autumn. Oh, I'm not a fan of Bo. Like, all at once, I want to relate to Bo. Her softly, almost looking embarrassed. I love that. I want to relate to Bo because Bo is definitely an introvert, and I am definitely an introvert. But I do not want to relate to Bo because Bo is not... Um, very sure of themselves. The top drawer is crammed with tins of pineapple, all along expired and sharing the same date. Then again, there was a time in my life where I wasn't sure about myself. So maybe there's 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 that. I don't mean not sure about myself in the same way that Bo is unsure about themselves. But we all have those different ways in our lives, you know? Alright. Alright, building a fort. Let's build the blanket fort. 
Uh, this blanket fort sucks. What part of this even resembles a fort? What are they playing? What game system are they playing? They're on the keyboard. And they have a leer. Uh, I didn't see anyone else helping while I was arranging it. Where is Bo? Oh, there's Bo. It's fine. Don't worry. Yeah, let's just play a game. What game are they going to play on a keyboard? What are we playing? Hold on. I think I've already got something loaded up. Is this some sort of text parser game? Oh, wow, people still make those? I used to play with my dad as a kid. Yeah, but now it's like cool and punk. If you say so. Shall we get started then? I want to play some video games. I want to play some video games. That's what I say too. Can we get on with the video games? I want to play some video games. Let me remove my, my tea pack here. All right, second cup of tangerine tea here. Bo's about to go into the oasis. Is this game supposed to tap into the ghost of emo past? Yeah, exactly. And I like your oasis reference. Very nice. Hold on, let me just Bo type something into the keyboard. Whoa, hello. Are we about to go into the computer? Also, probably not a good idea to have your plants so close to your mixes. Among the leaves, you have been traveling through the forest for almost an hour now, and you've lost all sense of direction. You're starting to give up hope of ever finding a place to stay. Whoa, it's like a metaphor. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we're in the game. die in the game you die in real life man you look down at your compass as if it might help you and consider your next direction um oh isn't that man that's a mood right there let's divert from the path i just want to get lost oh i'm sure we can't get lost if we just keep heading straight type something in the keyboard the trees seem to shift as you walk by them clearing a different path from what you were uh what was initially there a few moments pass by in the distance, you can hear the faint sound of a telephone ringing off in another direction. Two lights catch your eye, perhaps from the windows of a cabin. Um, it's getting late, right? Maybe we can stay in that cabin, or we can't ignore the phone. We gotta go get the phone. Creepy phone. Sounds good. Type something into the keyword. You head towards the source of the ringing. The trees allow you passage. Ooh, it's a phone! I gotta use the phone. Ooh, it's a telephone booth. That's us. Ooh, it's got cracks in the glass. By the time you reach the phone, the ringing has already stopped. The phone booth in front of you, completely taken over by plants, appears to have not been used in years. Looks kind of like the phone booth by my house back in Japan, I mean. I always pass on the way to the convenience store. Oh, I miss 24-hour convenience stores. Do people even use pay phones anymore? I think so. Every so often I see someone use one. Wild. Okay, what now? Um, move on. Check the lights. Yeah, see if the phone works. We made it this far. Check phone. You pick up the receiver. Silence. <sighs> it's not working. Let's head somewhere else. Type something in the keyboard. Try again. Try again. You keep walking, but every step feels just the same as the last. Eventually, the foliage shifts splitting into two paths, the left heading down towards what you assume to be a cave, the right snaking up towards what appears to be a street. Ooh, let's check out the cave. Are we supposed to find somewhere to stay? I don't know if we can just live in a cave. Sure we can, cave time. Cave time! Cave time, cave time, cave time, cave time! Oh, we're so small. We're so small. Um, I'm sorry. That is not a cave. That is a mine. <laughs> yeah. 
an elevator leading all the way down to the lower depths. Um, obviously, we should take it down. Of course, we're getting on the elevator. As you approach the elevator, it pings and the doors slide open. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to work we go. Surprised we didn't see any dinosaur bones that time. Eventually the mechanism grinds to a halt and the doors slide open once more. Cool. You walk down a short corridor and into a door on your right. As you walk down some stairs, you notice a woman. This place is weird, agreed. Where are we? I don't know, it looks familiar though. We could try asking. Type something on the keyboard. Hey yo, where we at? You approach the woman, but she interjects before you get the chance to speak. I'm sorry, but there's no vacancies. What? You're looking for a place to stay, right? I'm afraid all the classrooms are taken. Typical, isn't it? Wait, classrooms? Sorry, is this this is a school? Sixth form. Where'd you think we were? Uh, looks kind of like the plant room I used to service with my day. My day! That place was a sixth form, too. What is a sixth form? Um, I'm not sure, but this is a plant room, right? Uh, not much about engineering. These are all the vents for the school's air conditioning. You came here through the forest, right? Most people who come through the forest are looking for a place to stay. There was a cave and a lift, I don't... So, they're renting out the classrooms. I thought so. Like I said, most people who come through the forest are looking for a place to stay. And yeah, they're let. Only during the summer, though. They're still used to classes for the rest of the year. That hardly seems worth it. True. Though who can afford to rent a proper place these days? We get a lot of drifters. I... Oh, exactly. I'd love to feel like less of a drifter. Type something on the keyboard. Tell me about it. I've been looking for a place to stay while I study. Been there? I mean, take a look around. Wait, sorry, you live here? That I do. At least Friary Road wasn't this bad. Where are you studying? Uh, music. Music? Sorry, yeah, I was studying a couple years ago, but I want to do more uh, interactive stuff and things. Oh, right, you like theater? Um, I remember having to do little school productions at them all the time. My dad told me he had to play a tree once. Wow, just standing there? I played one of the animals in the nativity play. Got a split. All good, stained. Thanks for hanging around. Chuckles types up in the keyboard. Well, I used to play for the high school band. They had productions. I didn't really get on with people, though. Don't blame you. Listen. Oh, I don't even know if I get on. Right, so there's this old church. It's a gallery now. It exhibits interactive art pieces. It's called the Old Church. You can get to it by playing the piano in the forest. Anyway, the guy who runs it is this really sweet old dude called Miguel. Might still do, but I don't think he's had any in a while. It sounds kind of lonely. Yeah, the truth is I think he needs some company. I haven't seen him in a while, actually. You know what? Esther pulls out a letter from beneath a plant pot and inspects it. Oh, you want me to deliver that for you? You wouldn't mind? Not at all. It's the least I could do since you helped me. I'm Esther, by the way. Sophie. Thanks, Sophie. Esther hands the letter over to you. You will you will give it to him, won't you? Of course, it's no trouble. Thanks. Good luck with the Reverend Reverend and see. Thanks, good luck with see you around, Sophie. You make your way back to the elevator and ascend back up to the forest. We're not gonna talk about how weird this place is. This game, dude. How did this game do? Let's see how this game did. I'm bored out of my mind. Let's see how this game did. 71%. When does it pick up, dude? Reflection on this precarious few months surrounding the end of university. Yes, Kentucky Route Zero. It totally is. Not an unease, but an otherworldliness that perpetuates the piece. A finely illustrated work that uh, unfolds like a diorama. There's a new flatmate named Lou. When do we meet Lou? I don't know, dude. I'm just bored. <laughs> okay, but like I've seen clips of Kentucky Route Zero and that feels more like a game. No, Kentucky Route Zero was pretty boring too. It was pretty boring too. 
But it had, I don't know, it had a little bit more progression to it. This one hasn't had any progression so far. Like this one has been pretty, pretty, pretty monotone. Walking back through the forest, you get the sense that it's somehow guiding you. The trees continue to shift around you. Everything looks the same, but feels different. It's difficult to tell in the forest, but it feels like it's getting late. I guess it's just like compared to Chicory from last week. I can't imagine this even being in the same conversation. Oh, player piano. Finally, you reach a small clearing with a player piano, not just any piano, in the middle. I guess we'll give it a go then. Haven't really got any other options. Type something into the keyboard. Chicory was a blast. I'm about to go back and play more Chicory because I'm bored with this. Tired, you lazily paw a random sequence into the keys. I feel like this would be more fun with like four people doing the voices instead of just me. A corridor builds up around you. You walk down until you reach a set of stairs. From up the stairs, you can hear a voice gently talking to itself. Type something into the keyboard. Um, Miguel. Oh. You startled me there, dear. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Don't worry. Just that I haven't had many people come around here in some time. I don't have any exhibitions. What brings you here? We should probably ask about the residency, right? Oh, the, the letter! Oh, no. Actually, I was told you take resident artists. I'm afraid I've not had any in a while. Once I start being able to secure funding, I had to sell off the studio space. It's the only way I can keep this space going. Sorry to have wasted your journey. Playing one boring game about playing another slightly more interesting game, right? Uh, we should at least give him the letter, for sure. Oh, that's okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Esther asked me to give you this letter. Esther, who? You give the letter to Miguel. He scans the letter, smiles, and folds it into his pocket. Quietly to self. Oh, I wish he said here. Never mind. Uh, yes, Esther. Why didn't you say in the first place? You know, I'm sure I could sort something out. You'd still have to file in an application, but yes. Really? Thank you. It's not much, mind you. It's a pretty cramped and tingy room. Dingy room. Uh, it's better than nothing. I'm sure I can manage. I can make anywhere feel like home. In that case, welcome to the old church. Uh, is it really the time? I need to head home, but you should stay the night. Can't have you wandering about the forest this late at night. We'll pick this up tomorrow, though. Bright and early. Should be able to find the old camper bed. Did we win the game? Wait, where did Bo go? You didn't notice? They were looking pretty peaky. Yeah, they left a little while back. I think they went to bed. I did actually notice that Bo stopped making the commands on the keyboard. I thought that was weird. Is that all the cushions stacked up? I'd say that was not too shabby of a pillow fort looking at it now. I wish my pillow forts had used pallets. It's dope. Okay. Play a game. The mirror, covered in a thin layer of dust, remains where it was when this room used to be a bedroom. Sorry, we're not going to talk about this computer screen with the burning fire on it? I've collected so many sketches and records of plants, people, monsters. What is that? Um, skips to some drawings of monsters. Four arms puckered out of each side of its body. I remember this one. He poked me with his rusty finger and asked me to translate Chinese to English. I'm neither a translator nor Chinese, idiot. <gasps> it's the thing! The geometric shape! On the screen, there's a small breathing fire edging towards a man towards a pit. I think I remember how this ends. Knife springs out of the wall, penetrating his hand. Ooh! 
man flinches and the wall won't stop. Oh, no! Where was the geometric shape? Did I make the wrong call? I have to bring most of these back to Tokyo. There's some good stuff in here, and the region codes are all the same. All the games. Or consoles. There's plants. The plant on the right seems to be flourishing, while the plants on the left almost appear to be begging for sunlight. Where did Bo go is the question. Is he in the closet? Paint is peeling off the wardrobe and the original brown shades are starting to show through. Neat. Very engaging stuff going on here, folks. Very engaging stuff. Go through this door yet because I'm still super curious about it. <gasps> oh no, yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. No, this makes sense though. This part makes sense though. Excuse me, sir. I didn't realize you was a fan of baseball. Don't mind if I talk to you, sir. What size shoes you rocking, eh? Oh, hey. Didn't know you were still here, Cthulhu. I uh, thought you might have moved out already. Will you ever learn to knock? You know as well as I do I'm here as long as you are. He's Pete, apparently. <laughs> Ooh! Uh, there's been a lot on my mind lately, all right? Give me a break for once. You, uh, you want to be left alone? So the message did get through. You're not as stupid as you look. Jeez, there's no need to be so aggressive. Look, we're all on edge right now, okay? As if that's any of my concern. Try taking control of your own emotions for once, instead of thrusting them upon everyone around you. Right, fine, I just... I wanted to let you know we're moving out soon. Like it or not, I'm going wherever you're going. Oh, like it or not, I'm going wherever you're going. Make peace with it and leave me alone. I just... I'm allowed to be worried about you, aren't I? You can cut the act. I know you don't actually care. We can't even love ourselves. You think we're capable of loving others? Don't make me laugh. Hey, uh, That's not true at all. You say that. But you know I know you better than anyone, right? You've burdened my me my whole life. How many people have you hurt simply by existing? Blaming all of your problems on people? You think it's okay just because you're sad? And what do you have to say for yourself? Welcome to the Owl Pity Party. No one cares. More wingdings. Oh, more wingdings. I can't deal with you anymore. You get out. Okay. Right? Right, age man? What is that? This is Gee, everybody. Nice to meet you. He's smoking and he likes baseball. And he likes to watch the static on the television. So I don't know what just happened. But here we are. A shirt drying on the radiator for weeks. It, it's the turkey, for sure the turkey. It's been sprouting lavender through its fibers. I'm just so confused by this game. I'm so confused. I don't I don't want to dislike it. I want to like it. But I'm so perplexed by it. Uh, good old elephant and castle. The first place I lived in London. Or was it? I don't... Is it changing you? No. Not really. <laughs> Not really. 
I want to like it, um, but it has not changed my mind yet. I moved so many times. Like that ex-old people's home in Sydenham. That was weird. Uh, the housemates were all strange, so I never hung out with them. Hardly left my room while I was there. When I did go out, it was to go grocery shopping or to hang out there with Bo. Probably spent more time here than I did at that house, and then I moved here. The rent was cheap, but what's the point of living somewhere without good company? Even it was partially my fault for not being sociable. I didn't really like. I uh, feel like I fit in with everyone anyway, being the only East Asian in a house of so many people. I've always felt like an outcast wherever I've lived, even in Japan, being half Korean. Everyone treats me like a foreigner in Japan because of my surname. I'll get confused looks as they ask where I'm from. It's annoying, but whatever. Worse is when I get dirty looks. Any facade of politeness gets thrown out the window. Wish I felt more in touch with my Korean side. I don't really know anything about the culture aside from what I learned from my family, and I can't speak Hangul. I tried getting to know other Korean people during foundation year, but I feel like I wasn't taken seriously. I know it wasn't their intention to exclude me, but it's kind of on me for not knowing the language. I did find a really good group of friends in the end, but silly to think that it would take me a couple of years to get to that point. But no one sees me as the odd one out anymore. My uni friends really helped me with allowing myself to be myself. I felt confident for the first time in my life. I had no idea this much story was going to come out of a picture of an elephant. I don't know how to express it, but I owe both so much as well. They never once judged me for who I am. You know, it's a toaster. The toaster going to bring another diatribe? Oh, it's a rice cooker. The rice in the cooker is old. Out of the ends of the rice are ferns sprouting. What is going on with the sprouts in this house? There is way too much molding in this house. You guys have got a real problem going on. You really got to take care of your house. Just got a call. There was a school shooting at the high school my nieces go to. They're fine. No casualties reported, but I'm just still kind of shaking. Oh my goodness, Sando. What a nightmare. Absolutely sending prayers. Man, it is such a scary world. It's such a scary world. I'm so relieved to hear that there were no casualties, that everybody's safe as far as you know of. Not derailing the stream. Hey, not derailing the stream at all. Please do not apologize. This stream cannot be derailed, okay? This stream is uh, as baffling and as strange as it can already be. So why not go ahead and throw more of strangeness onto the day? I'm so sorry, though. Thank you for sharing that with us. For sure, sending up prayers. Drop that over the Discord as well. For anybody that's not on stream, I'm sure they would love to be praying. We have a whole prayer request section over on the Discord, friends. That is there for you to use. So do feel free. We'll send out prayers for peace, prayers for patience in the midst of not knowing, prayers for safety for healing. Yeah. We'll have to request ending bill soon. With any luck, the gas and electric will owe us some money. Oh, it's Bo. Hey, Bo. Just under a month and I'm gone, huh? Time really feels like it has no meaning anymore. I swear January was only a week or so ago. Still really anxious over staying at Bo's parents' home. I know their parents enjoy my company, but life does change with an extra person in the house. Doesn't matter how quiet I am. Sometimes I wish I could just disappear, dissolve myself into a million particles, just blink myself out of existence, just like that. No memory left of me either. Part of the year now. I don't want people to be worried about me. I mean, probably everyone feels this way at some point, right? Like, that can't be that I'm just being weird. Whatever. No point in getting bogged down in it. I'll only upset myself more and bring down everyone else's mood. We're learning a whole lot about Al. Posture check. I'm out of the camera lens, though, if I do my posture check. Gotta get my camera up. Just a little lights up. Bo brought this record player for my birthday. I felt pretty bad that I never got any electronics needed to get it working. Um, at least we have Bo's record player, even if Bo's convinced there's something living in the crackle. 
Well, there might be, considering there's a demon man named Guy, a demon turkey man living underneath the stairs. Sorry I, sorry I disappeared. I wasn't feeling well. And that's okay. Hope you're doing all right. Been too much to drink, I think. I'd say so! Mixing your drinks probably didn't help. Yeah, I guess I was excited and everyone, see everyone and it did it. Need to adjust that camera. Well, here's the thing, though. Okay, whenever I adjust the camera and then I go back to my other shot, I'm too low in the frame for the lower third. What I need to do, what I need to do is set up multiple camera, like, pockets so that it'll move the screen up for me whenever I'm in different ones. Um, it doesn't help that I have to move the camera every time I record a sermon. Yeah, I'm pretty exhausted. I'm not surprised it's been a long night, a long day. down for bed. I miss when Al's hair was blue. It was good to see everyone before we move out. Yeah. I hope I can do another get-together before I head back and all. How long do you think you'll be able to visit again? I'm not sure. At least six months, though. I, I really don't want to take any chances. We should probably wait longer. Give you a chance to find a flat first, eh? Who knows what's happening? What's happening? What's going on? The wall is separating from the bed, friends. How are you not noticing this? Who knows how long that'll take. The way the rent is rising. Probably have better chances finding somewhere outside of London. I mean, but wasn't that the plan? I'd find a way to come back here and we'd live together again. I mean, we talked about Japan. That isn't really an option. That's different, isn't it? I don't know. Tokyo, London, it's all the same problem. Different cultures, the same problems. I don't understand. I'd give anything to stay. All of our friends are here. I lived here my whole life. It's not easy. What does that mean? Just look at how Peckham and Camberwell have changed over the last few years. You can see it, right? This whole city is becoming more and more hostile, and it's the poor who get pushed out. Oh, you mean trendy art students drinking beers in bars with wooden pallets for seats and buying artisanal donuts? You mean us? I'm not so sure. I mean, we do have the wooden pallets. Yeah, but it's different, right? We could afford a sofa pit. We couldn't afford a sofa pit. I do think we're complicit, whether we like it or not. People like us move into cheaper, area, cheaper areas, and suddenly landlords start paying attention. Knowing what to do about it is the real problem. I feel like only the, the only actionable solution offered here is the all-out revolution. Maybe, but what does revolution even mean? An actionable how? I mean, I get it. You can't just treat symptoms when someone is bleeding out on the floor. I wish I had something more than vague preaching. I don't even know how to organize. Might I recommend you join Checkpoint Church where you can talk about these things and we can work through them together and actually make a difference. By doing good, doing no harm is driving to grow rather than just talking about it. Where would an evolution, revolution even, even leave us? Sure, down with capitalism or whatever, but there has to be more than we can do right now. We should have been more conscious about it while we had the chance. I wish there was more available. I tried going to a Marxist society once, and they just spent the whole time bickering amongst themselves. We should have started something ourselves. Ow, oh, we're barely getting our essays handed in on time. I think you can cut us a little slack. You need to update that you're doing an Asper stream if you're going to play it like that, seriously. With this high quality microphone here. I suppose we did have a lot on our plates. At least we were lucky to have this place. Good thing the landlord never checked in on us. He might have been surprised to find four people living here. I guess we were lucky having this place at such low rent for such a long time. I never met the landlord, but I remember the estate agent saying that he didn't want to extort tenants. I used to think my Friary Road landlord was decent. He sounded absolutely useless. And then he was a landlord. I never quite put it together. Even when he raised the rent, tried to advertise it as a five-bed house. I mean, those flats were all designed and built for the doctors. What is ASMR? Audio sensory. Something response. It refers to the way that your 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 sensation responds to hearing sounds, uh, in particular, and the way that it makes your body react. 
It's the it's the same thing as the little like you know you get hairs that stand up on the back of your neck. It's that, but through a microphone. Autonomous. I thought it was audio. Autonomous sensory meridian response. I got I got sensory and response, so I got a fifty at the very least. But it mostly just refers to people whispering into their microphone, way too close, with the gain turned up crazy high, so that you can hear their breath and the sound of their lips and teeth. Thumbs up, 50. I mean, these flats were all designed and built for the doctors and nurses working over the road. Who knows what happened between now and then? Investment opportunity, I guess. I mean, are we really talking about, like, redlining right now? <laughs> this game. This game is just a div school lunch conversation. This is just my seminary experience in between classes. That's all that this is. Gerrymandering. This game is too much. Go look up Amaranth. Maybe don't. <laughs> you could. Or maybe don't. <laughs> maybe look look up Amaranth with an adult present. Get a real job. <sighs> I remember that night we talked about struggling with the feeling of being bound to a certain path. I mean, Amaranth is the well-known hot tub streamer, amongst all other things. Not while you're at work, yes. NSFW, to say the least. Like you have your one thing, and that's your thing? Barely allowed on Twitch is how it should really be confirmed. ASMR hot tub. Yeah, she has, she has some pretty gross microphone attachments as well that make you very uncomfy. Yeah, you remember, right? That sounds like most of our conversations. I was probably drunk. Well, I've been thinking about it a lot, and I feel like I'm more lost than ever with what my thing even is. I thought uni would give me a pretty clear idea, but I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing with my life. Oh, for sure, yeah. I feel guilty spending four years here only to have nothing to show for it. Like, what would our parents think? I genuinely don't know what to do from here. The people I grew up with, you only have one plan, if any. There is no plan B. You know, it's like with this art stuff. It better work out because I don't have anything else. This is all I'm good at. I don't have the time or the resources to just restrain. You have to get it right. First time. Or, you know, that's you. Done. What was your plan A? I'm not sure. I can only really call it a plan in hindsight. There was nothing you were working towards? Nah, I just felt like this was something I was okay at, right? So I could just keep going until I got better. And eventually, that'd have to lead to something, right? I do sometimes wonder, though, if I should just have abandoned art school and followed in my father's footsteps. We used to have um, a friend that did the ASMR and uh, mukbangs, and so they would do they would do ASMR mukbangs in particular, and it was the most disgusting thing I've ever experienced. Wouldn't that be sad to give up on your whole thing? Of course, it's upsetting just thinking about. It. It's dying, though, I suppose. I just feel like that's a feeling all university graduates have. I mean, I came from a family of creatives. Even apart from me has a job. Everyone apart from me has a job in advertising, but what if I'm not cut out for it? Really? I wish I had that kind of opportunity. I mean, I take whatever opportunity is given to me, of course, but I'd much prefer to glue myself to a desk and keep drawing. I just want to keep my head down. Well, who's being choosy now then? I think I get it though. I just, I want to get on with the work. Got a doodle request. We're going to save it for the end of the stream. Yeah, do it at like 2.50. As soon as this conversation is over. Uh, that's just not it. That's not just it. My sister often comes home past 1 o'clock in the morning. That's the kind of work ethic that scares me. It's so pervasive, too. What sort of company, what sort of society requires you to work 15 hours a day? Hey, please. Please, we were just talking about that. I mean, I knew it was bad, but I thought it was bad enough here. Right? It's just different kinds of bad, I guess. I feel horrible for thinking this way, though. Like I'm not putting my back into it. Like I'm not trying hard enough to make it in life. I wouldn't be able to keep things straight. I mean, just take the state of my desk, for example. I'm sure you'd procrastinate less if you were being paid. That's the thing, though. I'd be paid to do it, like a professional. My dad's a pretty prominent director in the advertisement industry. Industry. 
industry. I'd rather not slather his name in dirt. If I were him, I'd be happy you were working in the same industry as me. You're right, he would. But he does talk about how either my sister or I should have gone into academia. Art school is technically academia, no? I could hardly get my way through a single book. I don't think it was ever a surprise that I never went into STEM. Did they have STEM whenever these people were young? STEM is like pretty new, right? They're the reason I was able to study here in the first place. You can't always live up to your parents' expectations, though. I wish I could be the person I need to be, be able to pay it back. I think I surprised my family in a lot of ways. They still struggle with my pronouns. I don't know, I, you kind of inherit their norms and values, right? Well, for sure, it scares me. You pick up parts of them, whether you want to or not. I mean more of a societal inheritance. I just want to get things right. Me too. Like, uh, I think they always expected I'd get a respectable job and settle down with a good wife. I don't think they'd resent me for it, but you can feel it, right? Yeah, I, I know what you mean. But I think my parents will be chill with a lot of things, though, since none of us are particularly normal, strictly speaking. I always found it difficult being able to conform. No one understands you, huh? Obviously, I'm exaggerating, but it's like my entire existence is like this emblem of sin. And when someone realizes I have a Korean surname, I'm not straight, I hate being called a girl, and I don't want children. I make such a terrible Christian. Well, this was a turn. Where was your Christianity this entire time, Al? I didn't know that. Now we got a link. Now we got a link to the game. And we got four minutes left. <laughs> oh. I think a much younger version of me in today's timeline would have appreciated this game more. It's cool, looks great, and has interesting mechanics, but the disconnect I have with these characters is really deep. <sighs> There's a lot. There's a lot that we can say now. But Al, think of Japan's declining birth rate. Bo, if you say that, I'd forgotten your family's Catholic. I guess I've not exactly been practicing, but it's still a big part of my family's values. It's hard not to feel like I should be fitting this idea. It all comes down to some draconian idea of worth, but you know... God forbid anyone need a support. Yeah, that's it. I don't want to be a part of their baby booming scheme. It's funny how universal the idea of the nuclear family is, or has become. What did you expect, colonizer? There is something in not fitting in, though. Being an outsider is a direct attack on the status quo. Right. Existing is praxis. Even so, I wish I had that sense of belonging. The only people who don't take me for some kind of joke are the friends I've made here. Whenever I catch up with high school friends, all they have to say about me is that I'm so quirky, so artsy. It's upsetting, realizing how little you have in common with your old friends. Ooh, now that's relatable. You have some good friends here, though, huh? Oh, of course, but I remember being so close with my high school friends. You grew up. They didn't. Or just didn't go the same way as you. Right? Sometimes it scares me how little people change. For an international school, it sure was homogeneous. Homogenous. Extremely niche. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's trying to throw too many, too many things at the wall and see if any of them stick. You can afford to stay the same if you have money. If you're set up on the right track, put into all the right schools, given all the right connections, then you're rarely exposed to failure. Do you think it will win the award? Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say big no. We got two pineapples. A couple pineapples in the chat. Well, I went to school with them. How come I'm such a failure? I mean, your friends seem a lot richer than your parents. Those systems are rigid. Some people just slip through. A couple of pineapples in the chat. Maybe I just didn't pay enough attention in class. I'm not really sure what lessons I've learned here. If any, I feel like I've learned to be lucky. Oh, don't you feel like you've earned anything? I mean, look at me. I really put all my eggs in one basket. You know, when I applied for university, I only picked one option. I did the same thing applying for foundation. I mean... Don't most people just have that one place they have their heart set on? I'm not sure I understand. It's not that simple. It's just like, I'll set my sights on something and it's this all or nothing deal. I feel like I'm just begging to trip up and fail real hard one of these days. It's not even woke. It's not even woke. It's just, it's a bit heady. It's a bit heady. Um, let's see. The Sistine Pineapple, could that possibly be what it is? Uh, working towards something was a mistake. I gave up on all my non-creative courses during sixth form. Could have done something else. I was just bad at the exams. Yeah, what sort of paths do you think you might have gone down? I've always been passionate about music. What held you back? It seems to have meant a lot about to you. It just got to the point where I couldn't find the time. Really? I mean, it was really good. Okay, all right, we're going to pause it. <laughs>
I have no idea how much longer this game is and it just keeps going. So let's talk for just a second because these characters have got to, I've got to talk about them for just a second um, because it's so strange. This game is very strange. I'm trying to figure it all out and piece it all together, but I feel like it's said a lot and there's a lot that needs to be said. We can do the drawing, we can do the doodle request um, when you get the chance, H-Man. But I wanna say something really fast because I love creatives and I am a creative and I wanna to talk to you if you're a creative and a creator and maybe you're feeling in the same place. This game just addressed a lot of different emotions all at once and a lot of them had, had nothing to do with the people's creativity. It had everything to do with them being in a weird place in life and being in a transitory time. Um, they are they are literally transitioning in their gender, but they are also literally transitioning in their lives from one place to another. And so they're dealing with a lot of things and they're feeling a lot of uh, conflict with their own transition. And that's normal and natural and something that happens. But that doesn't mean that you can't be creative. We all go through ruts and we all feel like imposters, but just because we feel like that doesn't mean that we are that. The trick is that if you make the thing, I got news for you, you are an artist. If you make the thing, you are an artist. Right? It's the whole thing that they're dealing with. Congratulations on another Dragon Ball. Very, very nice. The seven star Dragon Ball, Zando. We only have, how many do we have left? We have Uno Mas. We have Uno Mas. So anyway, as I was saying, art is not something that has the skills that you learn or don't learn, the craft that you learn or don't learn. Art is something that you do regardless. It is a creative expression from a creative God. So we are created by the creator. We are creatives created in the form of God and the image of God to be the creator. So if you're dealing with this imposter syndrome, if you're dealing with this transitory phase of life and you're feeling illegitimate, you're not alone. We've all felt like that, but that doesn't mean that that's the way it is. Create, do the thing, you are an artist. And then the most crucial part that we forget is to find a community to do that with. I would recommend Checkpoint Church. We have a whole section of our Discord called Let's Get Creative. And that is what that is for. The only way that you're going to feel anything is if you make in community. If you're just making things for yourself, it's never going to work. That's the point of Reddit. That's the point of social media. It's not just to sell your thing, but it is instead to present your thing and to say, look, I made this thing and then for it to be received. Perspectus, this is what you got. You got a pretty dope Avengers sticker. You let me know if you want that. I'll send it to you. Pretty dope, pretty dope. So yeah, it's understandable. Life overwhelms and it's always difficult moving from one place of life to the next. But that doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means that it's a phase. It just means that it's another step in life but it has nothing to do with your creativity. Your creativity is innately tied to doing the thing or not doing the thing. So do the thing. And if you do the thing, do it in community so that you have people to share it with. Case in point, Perspectus finished up his NaNoWriMo. Wrote a novel this month. That's incredible. That is a feat in and of itself. And I think that I, I'm not gonna try to speak for Perispectus necessarily, but considering that Perispectus uh, said this in the, in the Discord earlier today, the fact that it was created 
the motivation came from the fact that we did it in community, that we were encouraging one another to do the writing for that day, to do the thing, to keep going. Whereas last year, whenever he didn't have as much of the community, he only wrote a couple thousand words. This year, he was able to write 50,000 words. Do the thing. Do the thing, find the place, get it done. H-Man, what did you want, Doodle? Did I miss it? Because I got to go ASAP. I've got a meeting at 3. So yeah, there's my rant. I don't know. This game feels pretty heady. It feels pretty try hard. A nerdy pregnancy announcement. Hold up. What are you saying? Your nerdy pregnancy announcement? Are you guys pregnant? H man, I'm not drawing anything. Are you serious? We need all of the claps and excitement that we can get in the chat. Can we get all the claps in the chat? This is big news. Congratulations, H-Man. I will draw you something. We'll draw something, but I don't know what to do. Uh, let's see. We'll figure something out. Big claps in the chat. This is incredible. This is incredible. I got to try to figure out anything. What should I draw for a pregnancy announcement? <laughs> This is amazing, H-Man. Congratulations, my friend. Welcome to the dad life. Dude, there are so many of us. Ryan made a book and Hunter made a baby. <laughs> Absolutely, Pog. Congratulations. Congratulations. Man, that's so exciting. Ah, This is huge news. I can't even think of anything to write. I'm so excited for you guys. Big ups, man. Congratulations. Such an exciting time. So how far along? Where are we at? Where are we at in the process? Did you guys wait a little while to, to tell the big news? Another person for the Discord! <laughs> That's right. You're at 11 weeks. 11 weeks. So let's see. That means you've got like 30 left. And what would that put us at? Are you guys due next summer? June 23rd. Oh my goodness! Have you gotten to see an ultrasound yet? That's the best part. That is the best part. You save that heartbeat, dude. Save that heartbeat. It's the most incredible, incredible gift you can have right in the middle of annual conference. Nobody, hey, you know, that stuff happens. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Look, I still have it. I still have it years and years and years and years. This is Nora's heartbeat. Let's see if we can get it. There it is. This is my little baby girl's heartbeat. Save those forever, man. And then we got we got we got our other babies. I have to find it. It's a video, not in the voice recording. But I've saved it. I'll forever have it. There it is. Forever and ever, dude. You know, I was just thinking about this. Um, I have a meeting to get to, but this has got me so excited. I was just thinking about this. Um, just the gift of being a parent and knowing that you have created a lifetime of opportunities. Just think about all the good things, the amazing thing that you get to do. Think about all the things, all the moments that you've had in your life, all the memories that you've made. You just created another lifetime of those dude congratulations so exciting so many ups big claps another claps in the chat ah so excited for you so excited for you folks i've got to end the stream but please tell me somebody clipped that post that if you are comfortable with us posting that over in the uh, over in the section, or let's put it in prayer requests. Let's put it in general. Let's put it everywhere that you're comfortable. H man, nobody's gonna tell your news for you. You tell the news that you when you're ready and how you're ready. But I do want to get a clip of it. Um, 
Maybe make a clip and then send it to H Man and say, H Man, if you wanna if you wanna send this, you send this. You do you, boo. Folks, these three things we believe about every single person, even those that are not born yet. We believe that number one, God loves you. Number two, we love you. Number three, that you matter. You are a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place because you are in it. Folks, until the next time that I get to see you, have a wonderful rest of your day, a wonderful rest of the stream. We'll be back tomorrow, 7 o'clock Eastern time. We're going to be playing Minecraft, uh, doing the new update, and checking out our Checkpoint Realm. Uh, and Age Man's going to be a dad! Woo! I'm in a great mood now. You guys, have a great one. Don't play No Longer Home, or do. I'm not going to stop you. Until next time, folks. Bye-bye!